I had an idea to be, uh, since this is my only stand-up act for the year, <clears throat> that I should give you a little glimpse of um, how the universe came into existence. <laughs> Instead of talking about personalities, if we just talked about the 12 zodiac animals as energy, and we let that energy speak, for instance, I would start with a rooster. Yeah. Whose, I, whose idea it is to create the universe. Let's, let's, uh, let's create a universe. Yeah, I mean, I've been thinking that would be a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog would say, uh, sure, I'll help. <laughs> but that's all it says because it, it's waiting for directions. And the pig would say, this is going to be fun, right? <laughs> I mean, it should taste good, and there should be you know, comfortable seating. <clears throat> um, and then the rat says, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Just that, just wait. <laughs> because... Because it just seems like so much to do. A whole universe? <laughs> wait, wait. We've got to break it down. <laughs> Ox energy would then say, um, we've done this before. Let's just do it the way we used to do it. <laughs> do you know how many universes there have been? <laughs> we'll just do it the way we always do it. And the tiger energy in the raw would say, well, let's do it a little bit different. Come on. Let's improvise. Yeah. I really, uh, never mind. <laughs> no, no, wait, no, wait a minute. Let's improvise. <laughs> well, never mind. Uh, the rabbit would say, uh, okay, we can improvise, uh, but I've just got a feeling. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so that's how they're similar. <laughs> but I do have a very strong feeling about this. I have a very strong feeling about this. I think we need a dragon. <laughs> the dragon was unavailable. So the snake says, typical, <laughs> typical, typical. He's never here when you need him. And that's why this never works. <laughs> this whole thing about creating the universe, it's a bad trip. <laughs> you know, we should just call it off. Let's just call it off. The horse would say, but I've already got the truck, I've already got the lumber. <laughs> I got the whole weekend off. <laughs> yeah. And the goat said, well, don't let him be in charge because it won't be pretty. So the goat wants things to be pretty. Also, it should be harmonious. You know, these you know, big words that haven't come up yet. The goat is very good at bringing up these big words. So it should be a harmonious place. And Everybody should have a place in it. Yeah? Hmm. Monkey says, that'll never happen. <laughs> We've done this millions of times. That's never the way it turns out, man. It's always uneven. You have to be resourceful to even survive these universe things. Don't, you can't trust those. <clears throat> And the rooster said, well, it's my idea. And I think it's a really good one. (laughs) 
And the dog says, oh, yeah, I want to help. It just... <laughs> you see the, 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 um, <laughs> so, in, in, in the Buddhist tradition, we have two ways of looking at this, samsara and nirvana. You know, like the, it's both. Uh, we keep creating a situation which is problematically perfect for enjoyment. <laughs>